SOLIDWORKS 2007 provides an excellent tool for creating systems of belts, chains, pulleys, and sprockets in your assemblies. Previously, I would have had to use gear mates to simulate the motion of each of these pulleys, and I still would have had to calculate the length of the belt that would connect them, and probably create a belt part manually. Now to simplify this, SOLIDWORKS has added something called a belt chain feature that takes care of all of that for me. It will create all of the mates I need and create a sketch of the belt automatically. To launch the command, I'll go to the Insert Assembly Feature drop-down menu and select Belt Chain. The process of creating the belt chain feature is simple. First, I'll click on each of the cylindrical faces that the belt will make contact with. Keep in mind that you can also use a part's axis or temporary axis, but by clicking on these outer faces, SOLIDWORKS will capture the length of the belt for me automatically. As I click on each of these faces, a preview of the belt is shown. One thing to be careful of is the order in which you are selecting each face. Try to select them in the same order that the belt will travel. If you want to adjust the side that the belt will be applied to each component, you can either click the arrows in the graphics area, or you can click on the face in the property manager and use the flip belt side checkbox. If you want to add a nominal value to any of these wheels, you can do so by clicking on it in the property manager and typing in the new diameter, or by using the spin box. If you want to get back to your original diameter, just type in zero and press enter. Keep in mind that the preview we're seeing on the screen basically represents what the belt sketch will look like when it is finished. If you want to specify a sketch plane for the belt sketch, you can activate the belt location plane window and click on a model face or reference plane. For this example, I'll leave this area clear. In the properties section, there are a few more important options that you should be aware of. First of all, notice how you can see the current length of the belt. This length is currently being driven by the locations and diameters of the outer faces we selected, plus any nominal diameter adjustments we may have made in the property manager above. If you'd rather have the actual length of the belt drive the locations of the selected components in the system, you can use this checkbox. But keep in mind, at least one of the components will need to have a degree of freedom in order for the belt length to control its position. Otherwise, it will be overdefined. For this example, I'll let the assembly drive the length of the belt. So I'll leave this checkbox cleared. I also have an option here to use a belt thickness. If I check this box, I'll be able to enter a value for the belt's thickness, and the preview will update as well as the belt's overall length. The Engage Belt option tells SOLIDWORKS to add belt mates between all of the connected components. If I leave the option cleared, SOLIDWORKS will create the sketch of the belt, but all of the components would be able to rotate free of one another. I'll activate this option so I can see the effect of the belt mates. Finally, I'll check the Create Belt Part checkbox to have SOLIDWORKS create a new part file for the belt. When I click the green check, I'm prompted to give our belt part a new name. When I click Save, I'm returned to the assembly. Now, when I move one of the components, I can see the system moves all together, as it should. If I look in the Feature Manager and expand the Mates folder, I can see a new group of belt mates that was added between the belt and all of the selected components. Also, I can see our belt feature has been added to the tree as a new assembly feature. If I expand it, I can see the sketch that was created and the belt part that's derived from that sketch. If I wanted to show the belt more accurately, I could open the part and use the sketch to create an extrude or sweep feature. If you need to make any changes to any of the options you specify in the belt feature, just right-click and select Edit Feature. 